Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. Um, we are starting with the week that starts on the 23rd of uh, October and then the whole week. We always have a look first at the overall week or the overall energy uh, for the week ahead before we go into the star signs. So let's have a look what the overall energy um, for the week starting on October the 23rd will bring us. Okay, the overall energy is one of being truthful to yourself. You have the jaguar and the crocodile. And the jaguar here in this depiction is hiding inside the panther. So what that means is the jaguar has unique dots, so we are all unique beings. And it is really important this week to um, acknowledge how unique you truly are and do, no, uh, and do not hide any longer. You have the crocodile and one of the reasons why it is quite a revered animal is because it has been on this planet for so long and never had, um, never needed to change. So you are perfect the way you are. Also, the crocodile, it, I know it doesn't really um, make the ratings when you see a documentary about them, but they can put loads of their youngs, youngsters into the pouch of their mouth, a pouch of their mouth and bring them to safety. So they're actually quite, what's the word, they're actually quite gentle. Um, it's just they're not depicted that way. So what it means for, for, for all of us this week is to remember that there will always be people that have an opinion uh, about you and I that is not, not based on how we truly are. And it's important to remember that other people's opinions do not matter because it is their opinion and doesn't necessarily reflect who we truly are. So to, um, to um, speed this all up, this week is important to no, long, to no longer hide and um, be in your calmness, but be in your strengths and, and trust and acknowledge that you are okay the way you are. So that's the overall energy for the week and now we're going into the first star sign starting with Libra. For the Libra, there's not that much to worry about this week. The um, important thing for Libra is you have to be on top of things. You have to um, elevate yourself slightly to see when things aren't working and see who is causing issues here, what's going on, um, but stay also slightly uh, detached from things this week. Do not give in or um, partake in, in drama. Um, it's usually what... what um, makes your life really really bad when you uh, are in drama or allow people who are um, dramatic, theatrical and um, hyper when they're in your life you, you never get, get a moment of peace. This is also weak for you to realize that you're quite steadfast so uh, nothing is gonna knock you uh, uh, for a loop this week. It's actually quite a good week. So that's, that's Libra going into Scorpio and I'm drawn to a different deck So, Scorpio, whatever you are going through or have been through, this is a really, really powerful week for you because this is the week where you should look at your empowerment. Do things that, that make you happy. Do things just for yourself, not for a group of people or for other people. So um, you have the spirit of empowerment, the hunter of strengths. What you really want is to come back into your strengths and, and be fully here, if that makes sense. Right? So um, it doesn't mean that you will release uh, and, and, and leave behind all the things that have accumulated to uh, dramas or to um, issues. Because remember, sometimes when we are going through stuff, they are all great uh, learning curves. And so some of that stuff is really needed. It just doesn't feel right or doesn't feel good, but it changes you. And um, so this week it's important to, to, uh, to believe in yourself and to um, go from strength to strength. That's really, really important for Scorpio. The other thing that I'm, that I'm getting is to um, minimize the amount of people you're with this week. It's quite important not to be in the thick of it. Okay, so 
after that was Scorpio going to Sagittarius. Again, I'm drawn to another deck. That sounds a bit weird, but um, for Sagittarius this week, you, uh, you have your friends, your people, they need you this week. So um, this is not a, a week where, where, where all the needy people you may know can come to you and line up and, and burden you with their, with their stuff. Um, but this is more a week where you um, ought to be available um, to listen and spend time with people that are probably on the same uh, wavelengths as you are and spend time with them because you got the beaver and the drum so your energy needs to be quite high uh, you probably need to cleanse your house uh, or, or and or your, your workspace is quite important um, but this is a week where um, time on your own will not necessarily benefit you you will feel much more isolation if you are retreating this week if that makes sense right um, so that's uh, Sagittarius going into Capricorn and I'm drawn to this deck. For Capricorn this week, um, you need to keep going. That's the most important thing. You just need to keep going. There's also, you got the totem, which is your tribe, which is your family. Um, as you move forward with your life, you actually go um, much more towards your tribe. So this would be a really important week for you to continue with any spiritual studies that, 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 you, that you have, any spiritual things that are, that are, that are coming your way. Um, but you have to keep going. So all setbacks this week should be acknowledged, but this is not a week to give up. This is not a week to say, you know, you can all F off. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you anymore. This is a week to say, no matter what life brings, I will just keep on going. Okay, that was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Okay, for Aquarius this week, it's really important to be with friends, be with people who get you. And um, also, if you find, as you reflect on friendship, that there may be people that you have been with for years and they're no longer your friends, it's really time to face them out. You have the dance of beginnings and the dance of friendship, which means that you're slightly... Um, well, anxious about, about things and maybe um, cautious about making changes. And all the guides are saying is you can trust that these changes are coming your way and therefore they are, they are important uh, to happen. So you have the dancer of friendship and the dancer of beginnings. So new friends can actually come when you make space by, by remembering that some of the old ones may not be on your, on your sheet anymore or are not growing as fast as, as, as you are and therefore maybe they have to go. So this is a good week for reflection and uh, so that new beginnings can come. That was Aquarius moving into Pisces. For us Pisces, I'm Pisces myself, for Pisces this week, it's really important to be calm. Um, for those of you who watched last week's video, um, the problem that I have is that I do these readings and then they're not, they're not for me to keep, so I, I forget that stuff. And the only thing I probably remember is my own star sign. So last week, it was a week of understanding that we haven't released everything yet and that we need some time. And this week um, is a week of calmness for us. Yeah, we have the coyote and the deer, and so the coyote um, is there to tell us that there's always going to be enough for us. So we're, we're not going to be, we're not, we're not struggling this week just because we feel uh, we're not, we're not getting there. If that makes sense. Um, we, so we, we have the deer, which is the animal that, that tells us to be, to be calm. So in short, what is important for us Pisces this week to be as calm as possible, um, and what that really means is to not overthink. Um, it is, um, you know, 
when you're a deep person, which probably in includes many people from different star signs, you overthink stuff and you kind of think like, why didn't I see that coming? Why don't I get this? Why didn't I get this? And all these kind of things, which are oftentimes pointless thoughts because there are no real answers in it. So this is a week to be quiet, to be calm and to enjoy the week without having to do anything. So this is a week where, where you shouldn't really um, make uh, major changes. Uh, uh, to begin with and just allow yourself to also have a lot of me time you know alone time um, the way I always envision it, it, it is, is just having a, a, a nice cup of tea in the garden with nobody around um, then then some of the animals that you probably with or, or, or whatever nature brings to you that kind of that kind of thing or a very quiet friend if that makes sense so that's us Pisces moving into Aries let's see what we got for the Aries You can probably hear in the background, we're filming this in October, and you can probably hear in the background there's a, a bit of noises here. You know, there's a slight um, mist and a little bit of drizzle, and uh, it's all around us. So this will probably be picked up by the camera. So don't worry, it's all, all good. So we're, uh, we're with the Ari, Aries now. You have the ancestor of drives and the shaman of reflections. So you are not alone. If you feel um, I'm lost, you're not lost. You're just going through stuff that probably needed to happen but you're not quite there yet so you don't quite see where your life is going and what is important because you have the ancestor of tribes many of you people have gone through this so what that means is that reflect on situations that you have seen before probably in your family line if you're female look at the female line of your family if you're male look at the male line of your family and see have they gone through this? It's not important to necessarily reflect on how they have dealt with it, but there's reoccurring things that run in your family line. It would probably be a good week for people who are very affected. It would probably be a very good week um, to think about um, soul retrieval or cutting ties if you are stuck in a loop. You know, people say that to me all the time, oh, the older I get, I, I, I become like my father, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> and if you don't like it, then you have the chance to change it. You, you are not your father, you are not your brother. You with me? Um, so this is a, a, a week of, of uh, because you have the shaman of reflections. So reflecting is really important, but, but the, the, the sense I'm getting for Aries is that you need to reflect closer to home. You need to reflect on what is family doing um, and what's going on in my family. I also, my guides are doing this, so I also see um, the chance of removing yourself. Uh, let's just say there is a, a family gathering coming up and you just don't you just don't feel like it um, Then don't go. It's important. I just have to talk to our cameraman here because I can see the camera swaying. You want to get up? Mm. Uh, it's okay. Up? It's you okay. See, you know, I just want you to, to, to not shake otherwise you, you can see this on the camera Okay, so there was Aries going into Taurus The cameraman's mum is Taurus and my father is Taurus <laughs> So let's see what we got for Taurus Again, like, like we have every week, there seems to be a little bit of a pattern here um, that sort of goes through all the star signs. And so Tauruses this week too have this sense of um, having to reflect and stop for a moment and, and see, you know, you actually are okay. You have been on this planet for a long time. So I'm not talking about how old you are. I'm talking about the fact that, that, that we're all old souls. And it's important to realize that you have survived 100% of your worst days thus far and very likely there will be things coming up this week that have to do with stuff that you have gone through before maybe in another lifetime maybe when you were younger um, so there will be heavier stuff surfacing this week um, and the, the the message is to uh, no matter what you do do not hide let it happen allow it to happen should there be some pain surfacing um, let it happen. It's really important to, to, to not worry about this and, and cry it out. This is also a very important week for the Tauruses this week to cry it out. As I always say, because of the truth, uh, tears are sacred medicine. There's nothing better than a good cry, really. And a lot of people have learned to live with stuff. And Tauruses can be notorious, actually, because uh, oftentimes in Tauruses you have almost two people inside you. You have these opposing sides to yourself where you want to be strong uh, but also 
want to be um, in your in your personal space where you can let it go. And I have uh, I've known many Tauruses in my life who who have this outer strength, and they sometimes forget that this is just a layer and 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 maybe a method uh, to protect yourself. And sometimes it's important to step back from it all and cry it all out. So for Tauruses, that's important this week. Moving into Gemini. Gemini are going through changes. Um, well, we're all going through changes, really. But for, for Gemini this week, it's all about the change that you find the most difficult this week to pay attention to. You have the insect and the raven. So the, the raven is the animal that tells you that transformation is at hand. There's nothing you can do about it. So, so changes need to happen. Let them happen. Allow them to come to you. Don't fight it. And you have the insect. And if the insect wouldn't tend the soil, we would all be dead. So what that really means is you have to have a look this week reflecting on how important you actually are. Not just to the people you're with, but how important it is to have you on this planet and to have your knowledge and your wisdom on this planet. So don't ever this week um, go into self-loathing and, 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 and work on your self-esteem this week. Allow yourself to see how awesome you are. It's quite, quite important. Um, and uh, you can do this quietly. This is not meant to be to say to people, you know, do you think I'm okay? <laughs> and have a poll uh, going on where people tell you how great you are. This is not what they mean. But it's important to really reflect on the fact that you are a good person. And, um, and when you are a good person, it's much easier to keep on going. Luca, you're shaking the camera quite a bit. Are you holding this steady? Yeah, okay. So Gemini, we're going to into Cancer. Okay, Gemini. Energetically speaking, you're quite burdened at the moment. There's loads of stuff going on that has no beginning and no end. You, you, you may feel, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't even know what I'm looking for. And here's the trick. Knowing what you're looking for can limit your vision. Because when you feel, oh, this is what I should be having, you might not see what the universe has lined up for you. So, so be less conscious um, about where you feel you should be going right now. Um, you have the shaman of tradition and, uh, and the shaman of sorrow and the spirit of initiation. So what that really means is that the guides are around you big time this week. And when the guides are around you big time, then there are things coming to you that need to be understood um, from a soul point of view. So friends of yours cannot help you this week by, by explaining situations to you. Yes, they can advise you, but they advise from their point of view. It's really, really important this week to trust. You have the shaman of tradition, which means things will happen to you that feel, oh, I've been there before and it doesn't fulfill me anymore. Right? So you may feel semi-stuck, but you have the spirit of initiation, which means something new. It's just around the corner, but you have to get through this. You also have the Shaman of Sorrows, which means that you have gone through stuff, um, likely recently, that left either you or another party in pain. And um, it's not so much uh, that it is important who left who, for instance, or and this, this doesn't necessarily only mean relationship, this could also mean work, right? But it's important to realize that your actions or your inactions have caused suffering um, as it always does, it's always a, 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 a two-edged um, sword in a way. And you have the shaman of sorrow. So if, if someone comes into your mind this week that, um, I don't know, it's probably the wrong word, but has been hurt by you, even though you, know, you probably needed to leave them or whatever, right? um, acknowledge them. And acknowledge that, that, that our actions, everything we do has a, has, a, has a reaction. And sometimes our actions, no matter how right they are, can leave other people in in severe pain and this is not about right or wrong it's just about understanding that sometimes you might actually be a bit forceful that's another thing for for, for the cancerians this week um, you you could be a bit forceful and it's important to to step back from it all right so that was uh, cancer cancerians and now we're moving into leo
without what's red. Right. Leo are quite different uh, to the rest of the star signs this week because this week is a week to say I know what I can do, I'm in my strengths, I know what I can do, I, I know my skills. Uh, so knowing your skills this week is important. But you also have the shaman of courage. And what that means is don't be limited by the life you have. If you feel like, well, you know, I should probably do something else, or you come across something where you feel like, wow, that's awesome, but I haven't, haven't got a notion what they do, then maybe it's time to study something new. Um, allow yourself a career change. Um, it also means that if you are in a relationship where you feel you're no longer, you're no longer fulfilled, this would be a good week to actually sit down with that person and, and, and talk and really have a communication about where are we stuck, what's, what's going on here, right? Um, because your energy this week is one of trying to break free. And that doesn't mean that you're really stuck, it just means that you're maybe frustrated by stuff. And so do not be limited. You know, I, I hear that a lot from my clients. They say, like, well, I'm, 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 I'm X years old and I should have done this 20 years ago, now it's too late. And reality is, if you think it's too late, guess what? It is too late. Um, there's always something that can be done. Um, and there's always a new life that can be started. And this week for the Leo, it's important to reflect on that and, uh, and put aside your, your worries and thus ask the guides to, to show you what is around you and what is possible. Okay, that's Leo going into our final star sign for today, which is Virgo. And I'm drawn to a different deck. For the Virgo, it's quite interesting because you have the, the, the crow, the teepee and the sacred tree. So there's a part of you that really is ready to move on. But you have the teepee, which is your house and your home. So this week is not a week to remove yourself from situations, but create harmony where you are living. Right? So let's put it this way. If you are um, a person that feels, you know, um, my personal life with someone, isn't going anywhere. What they ask you to do this week is to is to, to cleanse the house, be as high as you can in your house, maybe find a, a, a space that is just yours in, 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 in the house because this week if you broke it all off and you would move on you would very likely feel lost. This is not a great week for removing yourself because you have the sacred tree which means you're not as grounded as you could be and should be and you need your home, your home, the, 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 the space where you feel you can, you can hopefully retreat to, that's the place where you have to feel um, the most secure <coughs> and the most grounded. So this is not a week to, to make massive changes, but you have to grow, which means you're already moving on. It's just that this week you have to start with cleansing your house and your home and then um, take it from there. Um, I do not know what we have, what we have next week. We'll see. So that was Virgo and that's all we have time for and I'll see you all in a week.